Hey there, Dale here with Pacific Sun Technologies. I've got an exciting video for today. I'm going to be talking about monocrystalline solar cells and polycrystalline solar cells. These are two very important components when you're considering different types of solar panels each manufacturer has their own. Now, there are some other types of solar cells out there, but fundamentally, they're based on either mono or poly. Now, before I get into this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, and at the end, if you find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Yeah, we really appreciate that. And of course, if you are someone that lives in our area of Southern California, then visit us online to receive a hassle-free quote. We have some amazing promotions going on thanks to our partnership with manufacturers like Enphase and Solaria that you're really not gonna wanna miss out on. So use that link down below to get a free quote. All right, when you evaluate solar panels for your solar system, you will encounter two major categories of panel options. You're going to have monocrystalline solar panels, also called mono, and polycrystalline solar panels, also called poly. Both types of panels produce energy from the sun, but there are some key differences to be aware of. And it's really all about the cells when you're considering different manufacturers. Now, both monocrystalline and polycrystalline solar panels serve the same function in as an overall solar system. They capture energy from the sun and turn it into electricity. I mean, that's really what they're both going to do. Now, one might do it a little better than the other, and that's why I'm going to talk to you about that. Now, they are also both made from silicon, which is used for solar panels because it's an abundant product and it's a very durable element. Many solar panel manufacturers produce both mono and poly panels. So you might have the same manufacturer with maybe a different model that one might be mono and one might be poly. So if you're looking for something specific, make sure you notate this. Both monocrystalline and polycrystalline solar panels can be good choices for your home, but there are key differences between the two types of technology that you should at least understand before you make your final purchasing decision. The main difference between the two technologies is the type of silicon solar cell they use. So a monocrystalline solar panels have solar cells made from a single crystal, thus mono, while polycrystalline solar panels have solar cells made from many silicon fragments that are melted together, thus poly. So let's talk about monocrystalline solar panels first. I have one right here. This is a monocrystalline solar panel. Pretty simple. I have a couple of them. Now each one of these cells is 2.8 watts. So in, in most panels will have 60 of them. Some commercial panels might have uh, 72 of them. Some other panels might have these as half cells. So it'd be cut in half and you'll have 120 of them. So they're all fundamentally going to start at least in this area. If it's a mono panel and then they get modified dependent upon the manufacturer's technology. So let's talk about monocrystalline. So monocrystalline solar panels are generally thought as of a premium solar product. The main advantage of monocrystalline panels are higher efficiencies and sleeker aesthetic, aesthetics. So I know what I'm holding right here looks blue, and it kind of is blue, but in many cases, monocrystalline solar panels are actually black. So if you're looking for a black panel or having a panel with black cells, usually monocrystalline is going to come in a black cell. Now, I wasn't able to source this in black. I only got it in blue, but it's a pretty dark blue. So if you look at it like in an angle. Now, to make solar cells from monocrystalline solar panels, silicon is formed into bars and cut into wafers. So if you look at this panel, you can see these lines going across. So each one of these is a bar. You know, so that's a bar going across. That's a bar going across. And that's really helpful. This bar going down is the diode. So that's how the energy, it, it travels from these to these bars on either side. Some panels might have three diodes. Some panels might have six diodes. Some have more than six. Um, it really depends on the manufacturer. More bars is better in, because it, it helps the electricity travel smoother through the panel. So just keep that in mind. These types of panels are called monocrystalline to indicate that the silicon used is a single crystal silicon. 
because the cell is composed of a single crystal, the electrons that generate a flow of electricity have more room to move. As a result, monocrystalline panels are more efficient than their polycrystalline counterparts. So that's one of the biggest advantages to mono and why so many companies actually use monocrystalline over poly. But like I said, many of them have their own patented technology to either enhance one or the other. So you're not just getting a mono panel or a poly panel, you're usually getting additional technology. Now I'm gonna put the mono away and let's talk about polycrystalline solar panels now. So I have one of these guys, They're, these are much bigger cells. Um, I tried to get the same ones, but there you go. This is a polycrystalline solar cell. So a little bit different than the other one. You have more diodes going down. This one has five diodes for the cells to travel. You still have them going, the little bars going across, of course. It's a bigger cell and same thing. So if you have a poly panel, usually it's gonna have 60 of these and or if you have a commercial panel, it might have 72 of these or it might be cut in half. It just depends on the technology the manufacturer is using. So polycrystalline solar panels generally have lower efficiency than monocrystalline options. Now, it's not a big difference between mono and poly, but it is, it is a noticeable difference. You might get a panel that's 18% efficiency on poly and a panel that's 20% on mono. So it's not super different. It used to be a much bigger difference back in the day, but not so much these days. But their advantage to a polycrystalline is they're a lower price point. In addition, polycrystalline solar panels tend to have a blue hue instead of a black hue over monocrystalline panels. So that's why you see a lot of older panels. Back in the day, they were blue solar cells and it's really because they're, they're poly. They were more affordable to make because they're having to melt the silicon. It's not one crystal, it's multiple. So like I'm saying, polycrystalline solar panels are made of silicon, just like mono, but instead of using a single crystal of silicon, manufacturers melt many fragments of the silicon together to form wafers for the panel. So if you look really close, you can kind of see these little wafers and the camera's picking it up pretty good. So if I move it around, you can kind of see how it has this really cool effect to it. Now this is my fingerprint over here, but so those are the melted silicon cells making for wafers. So polycrystalline solar panels are also referred to as multi-crystalline. So if you see a panel spec sheet that says that, you know, you can assume it's a poly or many crystal silicon because there are many crystals in each cell. There is less freedom for the electrons to move around because of how it's designed. So it, it acts a little bit differently when electricity is passing through it. And as a result, they tend to have a slightly lower efficiency than monocrystalline panels. So which of these two is better? Well, let me hold them up so you can kind of get a good view. So again, the size isn't really significant here. These are just two different cells, but this is your poly and this is your mono. Yeah. Saving money is one of the best reasons to go solar. And whether you choose mono or poly solar panels, you'll be decreasing your electricity bill and the option you choose comes down to your personal preference, your space constraints on your roof, and the financing option you choose. So let's talk about personal preference. If, you're, if the color of the panel is really important to you, remember that monocrystalline panels and polycrystalline panels append, uh, tend to appear differently on your roof. So mono tends to come in black cells while poly tends to be blue cells. So if that's important, then you're gonna to wanna to look at panels that are probably manufactured in the sense that they're mono. Now, let's talk about space constraints. You should prefer higher efficiency solar panels if your PV system size is limited by the amount of space available on your roof. Because of this, paying the extra cost for a more efficient monocrystalline panel that can help you maximize your electricity production will more will more likely make sense than going with a lower efficiency panel, even if it's cheaper, because it may not produce enough power for you. Now, if you have a lot of roof space, by all means, go with the cheaper product because the poly will make up for what it, what it does 
and have from the mono in the sense of quantity. So it usually will balance itself out and you might save a couple bucks by going with a poly panel. So the last thing is solar financing. How you finance your system can also pay a big part in determining which type of panel you choose. For example, if you choose a power purchase agreement or a lease, you pay per kilowatt hour for the electricity produced by the system. This means that above any type of equipment you're being offered, your monthly payment will determine your savings. Now by contrast, if you're buying your solar system outright, paying more for high efficiency monocrystalline panels can result in a higher return on your solar investment. So we offer, most of our manufacturers are monocrystalline. We still do see a couple panels out there that are polycrystalline, and believe it or not, the Tesla solar roof is polycrystalline. So that's, um, I just did a video on that, so be sure to check it out. Well, that's it for this week's video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'm going to be talking about LG Neon 2 modules, Q-Cells, Q-Peak Duo modules, and Solarius Power XT modules. The reasoning for talking about these three top manufacturers is because they all use a combination of mono and poly to create their own type of solar cell. So I definitely want to talk about the advantages each one of these manufacturers have. And if you're looking to go solar, of course you can get a quote from us by using the link in the description below. We offer you know, LG, Q-Cell, Solaria, Panasonic, and, and many other manufacturers that maybe you haven't heard of but are very reliable and great. Of course, we offer Enphase Energy as our microinverter technology, and we have a plentiful amount of storage options available if you're looking for battery backup. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Until next time.